I'm James Bush. I'm with the Division of Environmental Policy and I'm a program manager for energy initiatives for the city county government. Uh, the city received 2.7 million dollars as part of the stimulus efforts from the federal government and roughly half of that is being used to modernize some of our buildings. Uh, first part of the process was reviewing the utility billing information, the energy that's used by our facilities and identifying which ones are using more than uh, is expected. Um, at the same time there was a failure on the boiler system here at the Dunbar Community Center which is behind me and the, the project here we invested about a half million dollars in removing that boiler system and replacing it with a variable refrigerant flow technology. It's a lot like the heat pumps you have at your house except the, the heat pumps can talk to each other. So before they borrow energy from the outside condenser, they're gonna see if they can share some between each other for efficiency. Uh, in addition, there was a controls upgrade that gives us uh, much better capabilities on monitoring the energy used by the facility and scheduling it for use in its community activities uh, and after school programs. The monies being used in our facilities concentrate on three projects, the Dunbar Community Center, the Black and Williams Community Center, and police headquarters. Uh, this is the first project to be near completion. Uh, Black and Williams is probably about 50 percent and police headquarters is uh, just being initiated. Uh, all of those projects need to be done prior to September of 2012, uh, but they're, they're all on track and the preliminary results look good. In the past, the Black and Williams and Dunbar Community Centers used a, a boiler heating system and rooms that had air conditioning would either use a window unit or maybe some sort of split condenser unit. Now everything's being uh, consolidated, if you will, into a, a heat pump system. And from an efficiency standpoint, we were, were hoping for about 20 percent. Uh, we don't have the, the data at the moment, but uh, the building behind me was running 112 kbtus per square foot uh, prior to the change out and we are hoping to get under 80 um, going forward. Uh, strictly speaking, the, the return on investment on a mechanical project by itself is, is quite difficult from the energy savings. In this building we are hoping to recoup in the ballpark of $10,000 per year. Now relative to that half million dollar investment, that's obviously a, a long payback period. But what's missing in that calculation is the depreciation of your asset. You know, eventually something breaks. And the boiler system in Dunbar uh, did become non-functional in January of uh, last year. Uh, so it had to be replaced regardless of this particular project. And anecdotally, we also have the, the maintenance incurred by sending people out here. And we don't, we don't track those costs, the labor and maintenance issues uh, associated with uh, dilapidating equipment, but all told it, it is a good investment for the city and the community. One exciting part of the, about this project is the investment we made in our tracking uh, software system for energy and utility management and that gives us just a much better resolution on where our energy is being used and is it appropriate for the activities going on there. Uh, and With that program we can keep closer tabs and respond more quickly to abnormal uh, use in our buildings, uh, so we're, we're quite pleased in, in having those capabilities in-house now. And that new software, that gives us the ability to track the savings associated with a particular project, and, and one that, that helps us make better decisions going forward on what needs to be replaced and what we might expect from those savings, but also we have a creation of an energy improvement fund internally, which is where we can move some of those savings to pay for the next project down the road.